five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. See that? That's New York City, and this is the Ramble, and I'm Alex Bennett, and we're coming to you Eastern Daylight Time until midnight tonight. Fade to Alex. There we are. Hello, everybody. How are you? Good to see you. It's um, it's Friday, and uh, I got through the week. I'm, I, it's been one of those weeks where I just haven't felt well, as the day goes on, I mean, I know it doesn't look that way because I seem very just fine. And I've gotten to this uh, uh, at this point uh, because I, I've somehow I've been feeling like I've got, it's like allergies and it's just been nagging away at me. No, it's not the COVID because if it were the COVID, I'd be coughing like crazy, and I'd have a temperature, and uh, I'm not doing any of those things. So, uh, I, I, and I, may, and I tell you every night before I go on because I want to, I want to have the excuse, you know, that I'm, I'm, just not well, and uh, you know, if you don't hear me being well, this is the reason why, and so on. But then I do the show, and I'm fine. You know, the other night I was really tired about, about 45 minutes into the show, I started getting profoundly tired but uh, not this uh, not today not tonight uh you know what we should do uh we haven't done this in a while um but we should check in on it uh we should go look over at the uh, world uh, map of uh, death uh, there that is the coronavirus ladies and gentlemen that is uh, what's happening in the world so far we're getting towards 10 million cases on planet earth you know, I uh, I saw a uh, let me let me just come back to me a second. I, I was watching a uh, thing, what was it the other day or something on Apple? Or Apple had a a shot of this uh, the spa uh, the uh, they had these uh, um, Apple TV. They have these screensavers that were taken by NASA of the Earth from the space station, and I look down there and I go, geez Almighty, you know all that. Two, what well, it was, ten million people have this illness down there, and um, from up there, the planet just looks serene and blue and a beautiful blue marble. I think is well, how we like to uh, refer to it. And uh, I really am so uh, happy that I, you know, that I live on this planet. But right now, to live on it is is sheer death. You know, so. Uh, there we go. I just adjusted my picture. Okay, I forget to do that every time I restart the machine. Anyway, let's get back to the uh, let's get back to the map here. Hold on a second. Transition. We're back to the map. Uh, you see, and there have been four hundred ninety-three thousand six hundred nine deaths. That's a lot of dead people. More parking spaces for the rest of us. That's that's for damn sure. Uh, let me see here. Now let's go to the U.S. here. We, we're we're still the capital, the, uh, the coronavirus capital of the of the world. Uh, and oh, by the way, by the way, uh, 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 come back to me. I'm talking to myself because I operate all this equipment myself. Come back to me. Uh, I I didn't realize this. That's how stupid I am. You know, things just all of a sudden somebody says something one day and you go, Oh, really? Yeah, I guess that's true. Hmm, amazing. I didn't realize that. Stupid of me not to think about that. You know why they call it the coronavirus? <clears throat> Have you looked at it with all the spikes on it? It looks like a corona. They're not like the beer or the cigar. It looks like a corona, uh, 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 and, uh, like a sun that it, corona. And uh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful germ. I mean, it's, hor it's marvelous. I mean, it's deadly. But it, it, at the same time, nature has given it a certain majesty and beauty. But anyway, back to the picture, okay? We've had 125,046 deaths. We'll amplify on that. But, you know, Brazil, which a couple of weeks ago was something like maybe 250,000, maybe less, they're up to 
1,274,974 dead people, uh, not dead people, but people who had the COVID. Deaths, 55,961. You know, if, if Trump doesn't do his job, and he's trying his damnedest to let this thing spread, uh, Brazil might beat us out. And we can't say, we're number one. We're number one. Russia is pulling up a third. They're not doing too well. They were doing okay, but they supposedly have 619,936 cases. They say, however, they only have 8,770 deaths. I don't know that I believe that. It's a, you know, I, I don't know that I believe that at all. By the way, by the way, yeah, we can get rid of that. Look at, look at that. It's Russia, okay? Look at, look at us. Look at us. You'd think that by now we had started going down, right? No, look at that. We were going, and then we kind of were leveling off right in here somewhere. But then all of a sudden I said, oh, no, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Let me see here. I want to see United Kingdom. Let's look and see what's happened to them. See, they, they, they're, they're, they're cresting right there. Uh, Peru, uh, they're going up. Spain, which had a lot of cases, they leveled off, okay? Italy, which was terrible, they leveled off as well. But they haven't come down the other side, okay? So anyway, that's, uh, that's what that's all about. And I thought I'd uh, show you the pictures because we haven't shown them to you in quite a while. Let me see here. Let me also do something here. I've got a, yeah. Okay, so anyway. That's what happens with the coronavirus uh, around the world and across the nation. Uh, and across the nation, it's getting, it's pretty bad. It's pretty damn bad. Um, now, I, it's funny. I've got a, uh, uh, I've got a, uh, I watched today Mike Pence and his Corona Task Force. I wish they quit calling themselves the Corona Task Force because, quite frankly, it doesn't look like they're doing much of anything. Even uh, Dr. Fauci, who we all kind of love because he's a lovable doctor, uh, is, um, is, is, I don't know, he, he bothers me a little bit because he, he at some point, I mean, it, was, it, it should have been brought up, well, people did bring up, the fact that the president has held these events uh, in various places and had people with close quarters, not with masks on, and he wasn't wearing a mask himself. And uh, Fauci didn't mention anything about that. There were questions asked at the, uh, at the press conference, but basically a pence on that matter. But somebody should have asked Fauci, well, what do you think? You know, what's your take on this whole thing? Well, Fauci didn't say anything, except, uh, well, you know, you got to take care of yourself, and you might get if you're young, you think you're invincible, but you could give it to somebody else, do da, do da, you know, and 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 that's all well and good, and that's nice, and it was a nice little thing he said, but it didn't help anything very much, you know, uh, it didn't uh, didn't inform us in any way that we should, and we weren't getting a pep talk, you know. I guess I'm spoiled because, I, and if you don't live in New York, you don't know what I'm talking about, or if you haven't seen this show when I've played them, you don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, our, our governor, uh, Andrew Cuomo, every day used to go on, and he used to give us a pep talk. He used to tell us the good, he used to tell us the bad. He never lied to us. We never felt he was lying to us. And because of that, he was the coach in chief of getting this whole thing. You know, he took this incredibly horrible situation that we had here in New York. Because the reason it was so terrible here in New York is that we got the uh, the cases last. Well, after California, we got them. We didn't get them last. We actually got them. It snuck up on us. Uh, the government was telling us we got it. We're stopping China from coming in. That's going to save our, everybody's lives. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, it wasn't coming in from China because a lot of those Chinese people were going to Europe and infecting Europe. Okay. Uh, and uh, we don't know that it was just Chinese that was infecting Europe, but we assume that it was. Um, but anyway. Uh, uh, it, it, 
it, it came here from Europe. And while we weren't looking because the government said, oh, we're trying to close down China, that's where it's coming from, it was coming from Europe. And between the time that he closed down the China influx into the country, and he didn't close down everything, okay, but he closed down some of it. Uh, I mean, he is Trump. Uh, they did, uh, uh, they started coming in from Europe. And in the time between the time he closed down China, and the time that he finally closed down uh, entry into this country, guess what? Three million people had come through the airports here in New York. And where did they go? Where did they go? Uh, I got news for you. They, they went uh, somewhere very interesting. They went all over the country. But first they stopped in New York. And that's why we had the worst cases in the country for the longest time. And Cuomo had this nightmare he was living with. He didn't have enough beds. He didn't have enough respirators. He rolled up his sleeves. He said, you know, in the end, blame me if I don't get us out of this. And he gave everybody a pep talk, and he told you every day what he was doing. And we took that number, which at one point, I believe we hit 800 deaths in one day. It may have even been more, but 800 deaths in one day. And uh, he got that, and he leveled it out and brought it down. Today, uh, we had a couple days ago, we actually had 10 deaths. But they went up a little bit. They went up to 27 and then down to 23. Today, they're down to 17. Now, still, that's 17 people who were dead, okay? That's nothing, you know, nothing to have a big party about. But what we do have a party about, you know, our president has been saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to stop. He's going to he's put on order to stop all the uh, funding of all the uh, uh, testing because he claims the more tests we do, the more coronavirus there is. Well, of course. And uh, if you don't go to your doctor when you've got that big lump on, the, on your side, uh, it may be cancer, but it's not cancer until your doctor says it is. So don't go to the doctor. That's his thinking on it. Um, so he, uh, he just believes that it's all that testing, you know, but it's not the testing that we're looking at. We're looking at hospitalizations. And if you, you know, hospitalizations are not testing. Hospitalizations are beyond testing. These are people who actually have it. Okay. And they're being hospitalized for their condition. And I got to tell you, you go to a place like Texas, they're running out of beds. The hospitalizations are going through the roof. So today, Pence gets out there, and, you know, I don't know why he held a Corona Task Force uh, hearing, because all he was there to do was to campaign for Donald Trump. He wasn't telling us anything. He was telling us that that isn't the problem we think it is. You know, there's good news in all of this. And then he listed all these things that are, you know, that were ridiculous. And then, at one point, uh, one of the reporters asked the, the question we were all waiting for. Uh, here you have an administration that says they're doing everything they can for the coronavirus, and yet you go out and you hold these public events in which people are wearing, uh, 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 not wearing face masks and are in close quarters with each other, and uh, these are like Petri dishes for, you know, for coronavirus. And his answer was, well, you know, that's freedom of speech. And unless you want to give up freedom of speech, you know, you got to you gotta take that chance. Yeah, but you don't have to create a situation, you know. And it isn't, it, is it freedom of speech to put everybody in danger when you're president of the United States and your job is to keep them from harm's way? I don't think so, pal. And let's remember something else, okay? Freedom of speech is in the Constitution. There was something that came before the Constitution. It was the thing that laid out what the rights of the people were. And it supersedes the Constitution. The Constitution are some rules we made up after the fact, but the Bill of Rights was the thing that we predicated this whole country on. And it talks about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's how it's spelled. It looks like an F. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I'll tell you, um, 
what is, boy, we got somebody's. Hear that? Listen to that. Put, listen. You hear that? Fireworks. Yeah, yeah. It eats with the fireworks. Well, that one scared me. Anyway, uh, oh Jesus! Listen to that. I should have a I should have a big uh, camera out here so you can see them. Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy. Anyway. 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 So where were we? Oh, did I? I did you see him last night on the show? I mean, I played him. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I think. I think. They're in here. Is this the one where we have them? No, I guess not. I guess not. Let me see here. Is it maybe in one? Is it there? No, that's that not it. That smiling face no, coming in. That's not from... it. That's not it. Let's see here. I'm trying to look for the right clip. Is this it? No, I guess I got rid of the clip. Okay, well, anyway, I had a clip of the fireworks outside the other night. Uh, but anyway, they've been going off, and I know they've been going off everywhere in the country because there's some illicit uh, stuff coming into this country. So anyway, where were we? Oh, yeah, so let me finish uh, what I was saying. So you have life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and, and that supersedes everything in the Constitution, even freedom of speech. But apparently that's lost on, on Pence. And what really incensed me, was when the question was asked, he could have said, you should ask the president about that. I, I don't have the answer. Okay, could say that. But he didn't. He said, we, oh, it's freedom of speech and blah, blah, blah. And then he sidetracks us into, but you know, the kids are doing a great job today and we're getting this better and the economy is coming back and da, 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 da. And completely, you know, it's like, it's like make, don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain, all right? And it's, it's, a, it's a deception, it's a deflection. It's like a magician, when he does a trick, part of the trick is to make you look at the hand that he doesn't want you to look at, because with the other hand, he's really doing the trick, okay? And, it's, and, and um, the, the art of the politician is to, again, when you're being asked a question, to deflect it. The thing was, is that at one point, one of the reporters wanted to jump in and say, come on, you know, like, let's give us a straight answer, okay? And he just kept talking and wasn't, ta it wasn't answering the question. It was, it was pathetic. It was just pathetic, and it was nothing but a, a, a political commercial for the president, and uh, very, very sad. Anyway, listen, uh, I'm, uh, I want to take some calls now. Uh, we have the, uh, in fact, the, uh, um, the uh, waiting room is waiting. I still have the waiting room on. Maybe I should turn it off. I don't know. Let's see here. Let me turn it off here. Let me see here. I will disenable the waiting room so everybody can call. If you don't know how to get a hold of us, last night we had uh, 15 people on. Was it 13? No, 13 people on. I'd like, love to try and top it tonight because it, it was interesting how all these people were fitting on the screen and uh, the equipment here wasn't panting in the least. It's like CPU usage is like 22.8 or something like that. Uh, oh, look, look, um, oh, damn it. Ooh, oh, I, oh, hell, I screwed up. Hold on a second. Oh, boy. Here, come here, come here, you. Stop it. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, geez almighty. There we go. There we go. And now let me let me push gallery. There we go. And we're, uh, I've got, I think, everybody that I need. And look, over there in Hawaii, it's Howard. <laughs> gallery, there we go. Uh, hello, and Howard. Uh, I've got, I think, everybody that I need. And look, over there in Hawaii, it's Howard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, so anyway, um, uh, I, uh, oh, here comes Phil Meyer. Hello, Phil. How are you? Hey. Uh, um, it's amazing that in Hawaii, the waves don't move. Uh, it's terrific. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Uh, somebody's got their, somebody's got their audio up. So I'm, yeah. Okay. There you go, Howard. Okay. Here comes Brian Neary. Oh, whoops. <laughs> He's a pop-up. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you okay, Brian? How you doing tonight? <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. Uh, my Father's Day gift came in, so I got to go downstairs and get it. You, your Father's Day gift came in? Are you going to share it with us? 
Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, apparently he knows what it is. Late. Man, it is hot in here tonight, and I can't figure out why. The air conditioning's been on. Oh, here they come. Oh, who's this? Who, who have we got? Um, Christopher Bojangles Ritter? Hi, you got your mic on? Is that John? No. No, no. Turn, oh. turn. Uh, oh, he got, he hung up. That's a big box. Uh, what? Uh, oh, wow. You got a chair. Oh, yeah. I see. I, well, we were going to do an unboxing, but now we don't have to because you showed <laughs> us the picture. Yeah, I got this raggedy thing, so uh, I'm happy. Wait a minute. You've got a tattoo? Yes, we showed this before. No, you haven't. I don't think you have. Yeah. Cadillac, man. It's, oh, it's a Cadillac shield. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the only one I got, and I got it when I was uh, about like 10 years ago. If I would have got one when I was a kid, I probably would have had Alex Bennett Live 105 or something. No. Something stupid like that. Jesus. No, I don't think anybody ever made a tattoo of me, you know. Now, Marjorie has a tattoo. Um, I, oh, then here's Christopher again. Chris, are you there? Yes. Oh, yes, we can hear you, Chris. Wait a minute. Talk to us. Oh, you just turned your mic off. Turn it, turn it on. There you go. It's on there. Rob, Rob, what are you smoking? Uh, don't even. Oh, it's called a uh, Herrera Esteli from Drew Estate. Ah. Oh. Well, before we go any further, Chris is new to our little gathering here. Uh, have you ever called the show before? Yeah, a few years back, I was the guy from Vegas and Big Bear who, and then uh, I let my hair grow gray and grew a beard like Kevin and. Uh, it's been a few years. You're in so, uh, movie production, right? Where, yeah, yeah. work with magicians and right, yeah. right, right. Like mutual friends with Pearl, but don't know Pearl. Basically. Well, you know he's living in Vegas, but are you still in Vegas? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm about 15 miles out from the, the yeah. hubbub. Yeah. Yeah, he's living in Vegas. So. Yeah. And and Bo Jangles is that really your middle name? Uh, it's a prank. I, I I need to learn to get it off. This is only my fifth Zoom meeting or so. Oh, okay. You, you, but it's not a stage name. It's I'm not. Uh, Rob, it's not a tribute. Rob, have you heard of something that um, Ronnie mentioned it to me? People are getting something called Zoom fatigue. Um, I understand it because since I've been quarantined, yeah, and you know, and we're not allowed to go out, it is Zoom meeting after Zoom meeting after Zoom meeting, and it's just. And I've been saying it to my wife. I the term I heard her say that, and it it put a term to something that I've been feeling, which is I walked out every time I walk out of that, that office, I say, oh, more talking heads, just people talking at you. And, and it's fatiguing. And yeah. Then she put that word to it. So I completely understand it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, I mean, I don't get it here because I've, just, I've been doing this kind of thing forever. It's just this is a lot easier. This week, I can't tell you how many hours I was on either Zoom or Teams or mm. Skype for Business <clears throat> Uh, it's just yeah. a tremendous amount of time. Yeah. Now, okay, so you did you did uh, you did uh, Skype uh, Skype for Business or Teams, or then you did what Google Teams? Is it? No. No. Is Teams the same thing as, as as professional Skype or whatever? Yes, it's the replacement for professional mm -hmm. Skype. And Skype how how business. how is it? Somebody it said it's somebody I don't said like it. Sucks. it. Yeah. Really. I think it's confusing as all hell. I mean, there's way more to it than just Skype. Like you could, you could share, you can do like collaboration on files. But to me, when I'm on the phone with a customer and I'm trying to, you know, it's just too many, like, where do I have to click to do this and that? And, and mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I like Zoom and I like Skype for business a customer. And I'm trying to, you know, it's just too many, like, where do I have to click to do this and that? And, and mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I like Zoom and I like Skype for business. A customer, and I'm trying to. Oh, we're getting a loop back. Whoa, mm -hmm. that was a trip. You were talking, you weren't talking, you were drinking. That's magic. Magic guy. Hey, did you I see that? I can ventriloquism. <laughs> no, what happened? Yeah. So I was supposed to, I have an interesting little story. I was really looking forward to one of my favorite comedians is a guy by the name of Sebastian Maniscalco. Mm -hmm. you heard of him? I've heard pretty, of him, yeah. yeah. Right funny guy, and he t because nobody can do anything, no, no shows and such, he 
at, he, I'm on his mailing list. I went to see him when he was in Vegas and such. And this Sunday, he's doing a really cool thing. He's doing a sky, a, a, a Zoom dinner. You pay 200 bucks. You get dinner for two. Sh- send to your house that you have to prepare. It's supposed to. It was supposed to come today, and it comes frozen. And it's chicken parmesan, spaghetti, uh, cup an Italian dinner, caponata, um, salad from soup to nuts a dinner that and then at 4 30 on sunday Mm -hmm. everybody gets on zoom and he's going to do a show and it was just this 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 evening with and a bottle of wine comes with it Uh it's an awesome deal problem was because of where i live here in the middle of nowhere they couldn't ups couldn't guarantee a 24-hour shipment and they were trying and trying, and they let me know tonight that it was not. I'm not going to get a chance to do it. But isn't that an inge- it's an ingenious? Because right, you live in the boonies, Rob. To, yeah, where I live, they could only guarantee two day shipping, and that wouldn't be safe for the food. Well, when you said two hundred dollars, I went, "Wow, that's a lot of money." What for? And then when you said they're sending you the they're yeah. sending you the dinner, all the food, soup to nuts, everybody's eating together. Yeah, and and a show by a comedian. Wow. Isn't that like an amazing super, idea? Super well, you know, everybody's getting very inventive these days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and 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 uh, uh, the, the Zoom has made this all possible. Absolutely. You know, I don't know that anybody would like to try that with Skype. I mean, you can't like how many people did he say he could put <laughs> up on the for the dinner? Well, on Skype you can, and there's no way you're going to get that many people. Oh, there's no way. I you talk in Zoom. In last March. night, last night we had 15 people. Here. Oh, smart. <laughs> Okay, 15 people here. And my equipment wasn't even breathing heavy. As a matter of fact, when I started out tonight, I looked down while I was doing my monologue, and I, my CPU usage was like 25%. Now that I'm doing this, it's down to 17. You know, there's no heavy lifting. All the heavy lifting's being done by Zoom, you know. Uh, uh, Mike uh, Pray there. Hello, Mike. How are you? Where are you calling from? Hi, uh, Poway. Yeah, where are you call? Where are you calling from? Poway, California. Where? Poway. It's near San Diego. You know, I've lived in I lived in California most of my life. Okay, and I still hear from cities that I didn't even know existed. Phil looks like McCain right now. Huh? Yeah. Phil looks like McCain. Yeah. For some reason, this uh, <laughs> the, the, he got a haircut. Got he the looks haircut. bald. Yeah. He looks like a chubby McCain. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Yeah. So, so what do you do? What do you do, Mike? Where uh, down in that neck of the woods? Um, well, I'm currently between jobs, but I'm uh, IT mostly. You what? Say I'm I'm IT. E- oh, MIT? No, IT. Oh, I IT. Technology. You uh, quit moving around so much because you're kind of yeah, rattling. Oh, excuse me, I'm fixing some burgers here. So yeah, uh, it sounds like somebody's eating a bag of chips. Yeah. yeah, just just mute yourself when you're not talking while you're cooking because what do you, can you yeah, show right. us what you're cooking? <laughs> can you show us what you're cooking? Um, Let me see. Oh there. Oh oh, looks good. Very nice. Beyond burgers. I need to get the I cheese hope. on before they get too done. I have stock in Beyond too. What? Beyond Burgers. I have stock in Beyond Burgers. Yeah, well, too. good. I, to me, a burger, you can't call something that's made from an unknown substance a burger. Hmm. You know, oh. a burger is meat. You disagree? I really hey, uh, Mike, Mike? Yeah? As you're moving around like that, why don't you mute yourself? So yeah, that, well, that way we're not going to hear you rattling like crazy. Okay. You can mute them too, Alex. You know, I can. I can mute you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I don't have to. And just allow him to unmute. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, so um, uh, hello, Jeff. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Good. I found I didn't my. Get to what? See you last night, but. Yeah. Well, if you had called last night, we would have had 16 people on. I, he- I heard about that. Yeah. Here comes Tony now. How many do we have now? 12. 12? 12? Yeah. So that would be, oh, God, I, I forgot to even hit it when we when we were, uh, let me let me go get this. Then we can, I guess we have to go back to the hand raising. Is you know, this a royal stuff. flush, I guess? A jackpot, I think. A jackpot Ooh, already? 
Uh, well, let me let me make it a royal flush for the time being, because I want to <laughs> take that uh, that uh, jackpot and uh, kind of make it smaller, because it was a little too large last night. So if I make it smaller, there we uh, go. I can Zoom's there. been holding you back all these years. What do you mean Zoom has been holding Skype. me? Uh, Skype. Skype has been holding oh, sorry, me. Sorry, Skype. Skype. Skype's been yeah. holding me back all these years. Zoom is making you blossom now. Yeah, I guess. Alex, there we go. Just there. Waiting. Huh? Zoom like in a pandemic. Is anybody else on the channel using Zoom, or is they still using Skype? No, Jack uses Skype. He's using Skype oh. still. Yeah, Jack still uses Skype. He probably see. Uh, part of the problem is is that if he uses doesn't use Skype, but he uses Zoom, then somehow he's got to have a way. Got to have a way to send his address out so people can ah. click on him. I've got a website. Okay, uh, I've got. Uh, you know, I've got a website and I've got uh, I've got uh, YouTube and I can. It's on the YouTube page here and it's also uh, where else did I put it? It's, uh, it's also I, it's on my Facebook and Gabnet.net. So I have all these places that you can click on it. He doesn't, I think, have a web page, mm -hmm. and so to get that address out would be difficult for him. So it's just as easy for him to do Skype, although this. This is, you know, this is a no-brainer. I mean, I what I love about it is I don't have to sit here for a half hour going, well, let's see here. Who, oh, it's a, a, a hog rider. Let me put hog rider in the number two spot and blah, blah, blah. I don't have to do any of that. Everybody just falls right into place here. It's terrific. It's just terrific. How are the hamburgers coming along, Mike? Just about there. Just about there. You, you like them rare? Do you like them? Uh, now, are they meat hamburgers? Uh, Bree wanted yeah. to know because he likes Beyond Burgers, which I don't yeah, know what that is. Some kind of kind of spur soy or something? Huh? Are they soy? Uh, I think I they're. I yeah, think these, I, these are these are chucks. So <laughs> I think I think they're sperm. Is what I think. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, it should be just about right. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. This is Alex. Alex, always late to the party. What do you mean, always late to the party? And ne okay. Next year, you'll be eating Beyond. Wow, these Beyond Burgers are the best thing uh, I've ever You know had. something? Actually, Marjorie had one and said she felt it sucked. I heard no, she didn't have uh, it right. What? That there's stuff in there that's bad, really bad for you. That uh, Beyond Burgers are, are, they put all sorts of chemicals in make it taste like meat and, uh, that ends up hurting you. yeah yeah so if, if yeah, that hurts heard, the uh, the stuff that actually makes them taste good like meat um is is actually bad for you it's, it's just yeah. the best the yeah. meat is so yeah i mean and and meat uh it all depends on how you cook meat too i mean meat isn't as bad as people make it out to be i mean i went on an all carbohydrate low carbohydrate diet and I, meat was my main substance uh, let me let me let me k kill his. Uh, oh, he just did himself. Okay. Um, uh, uh, I, uh, uh, I I did nothing but meat, and it didn't hurt me. I was I was. John fine. Burger yeah. is not meat. No, it's plant based thing. Oh. A bunch of chemicals in it. Yeah. Humans have been eating uh, meat for a million uh, years. What'd you say, Charlie? The humans yes. have been eating meat for a million years. Well, we are carnivores. And see what it's done to us. Yeah. Oh, look! Look at the cat! Look, a cat is about to attack Rob. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that, Jackie boy. <laughs> oh, I love cats. Anyway. Howard, I have a question yeah. for you, Phil. Oh. Okay. Are, are there chemicals in a Burger King Whopper? I'm sure. Which do you think is worse, a Beyond Burger or a Burger King Whopper? Well, oh. we're not talking about Burger King. We're talking about the kind of thing like they, uh, they make, right. uh, like they make, uh, I was going to uh, make the like, extreme like, argument. Like Mike is doing the there. Mike is doing. He's uh, he's got uh, uh, you know he's doing meat. That's not a Beyond yeah. Burger, and that's not a, a, a you know a, a uh, franchise Bree, burger. Bree was asking because this one fast food place has both. You know which one I think is worse. But I, I tell you, I've eaten both and i i feel sick afterwards if you don't eat that crap for a while you get off of it and uh it's it's really uh, well i i prefer beyond burgers i think they taste exactly fine 
and they don't have the same risk of salmonella or E. coli. And uh, I feel better after eating a Beyond Burger. So, you know, that's that's what I'm going to go for. And I think in the future that uh, the Beyond Burger will be the choice that you'll have. Just just saying. Not in my lifetime. Not in my household. <laughs> Not in my lifetime. It won't be the choice I have. If there is a choice, and I can't imagine that in, I'll be dead in 20 years. So I can't imagine that there won't be beef in 20 years. And we're still around in 20 years. Well, uh, you know, he might be right, though. I don't know if we will have beef in a few years because the way things are going. There might not be a world in 20 uh, years. You know, uh, there might not be food out there, you know. Uh, and well, soil and green is delicious. Soil and green it. is wonderful. Yeah. That's where they got the idea for Beyond Burgers. I got a 15-pound cat I'll eat if I have to. Yeah. <laughs> Howard has two cats. Are well, they the same brand as yeah. uh, Rob's? I got five. Five cats? Five so cats. you're a cat man? Yeah. Cat man do? This guy's, over to, this guy's yeah. over at a friend's house, and there's his cat, and the cat's got, like, one one leg missing. He says, uh, well, what happened with the, uh, with the leg on the cat? And he said, well, you don't eat them all at once. <laughs> yeah. so. Anyway, so and did anybody see that uh, that uh, horrible uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic uh, press conference today? Oh, I yeah. listen yeah. to it on the uh, yeah. radio. Brian, what'd you think? Uh, now, now he's now he's got both the others. You know, Fauci and the other one just lightheaded it. You know, it's just they're just. I mean, we're in a big issue, bigger than we before, and they're just really not I'm, addressing I'm, it at all. I, I, I'm very disappointed in Fauci. What do you say? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wrong? They're selling out now. Yeah. But what do you say that was so wrong? There's some areas no, of the country. No, 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 no. no. What, what happened was, what happened was, is that at no point, to begin with, I have to uh, assail the press because they asked Pence, "Well, what about Trump? Do how, what? What does it say to the country when you're holding these gatherings?" And he came back with, well, you know, freedom of speech is the most important thing. And um, uh, then the reporter should have probably asked Dr. Fauci, what do you think? Or one of them should have asked, what do you think? And see what he would say. But I think in that context, he probably would have gone light on the president. You know, he doesn't like, he doesn't like to ruffle feathers at all. You know. Well, he'll get fired. He ran off the stage after he after that lady asked him that question. He said, "Okay, see you later." You know, Pence, well, he got out of there really fast. Yeah, really oh, but, fast. Yeah, everything's going fine. In case you didn't know, you know that was Pence taking a victory lap because it's going so well. They've done a great job. In fact, I mean, really, the the virus will just go away like a miracle, and and you know. Uh, it's going to get hotter in the next month or so. I mean, why is everybody worrying? It's It'll they've really done a great a job, weeks. haven't they? The Nobody's dying. Here. Well, there are th people who go, things are better, things are better, he's saying. And I just imagine Charlie was sitting there in Texas <laughs> in his little apartment watching this and I'm going, not leaving my apartment. It, 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 going, fuck you, you know. It's <laughs> so absurd. It's so absurd now. If you can't see that there's a problem by now, mm -hmm. it's, I mean, forget it. There's no use discussing it with you because there's no national plan. We have a national plan here. Uh, our numbers are so low. I feel safer going out here. I don't want to come back to the U.S. right now because of the virus. I, I, I lived in terror. In fact, I can. I lived. I lived in terror here in New York. Okay, and I, I'm not. I, I don't feel terrified any longer. We're a third yeah. world country here in this country. Yeah. Uh, I feel that I'm probably right now in the safest place in the country, and yeah. I just hope you people from the other parts of the country don't come here and contaminate us. I'm hoping, to come, I'm hoping to come I'm hoping to come more 4th of July weekend to see my brother. I haven't been there since Christmas and try yeah. to see my mother. I don't know. Yeah. Uh Christopher, uh, 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 you're 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 still in Nevada. How's it going there? I, I, it's one of the hot spots now, isn't it? <clears throat> it's picking up. It's not a super hot spot yet, but we have all the people, the uh revelers coming in from all the hot zones. Yeah. And just today uh, the it, masks in public went into effect mandatory and i'm not sure how that's taking yet mm -hmm. but the people who come to vegas they want to party and they don't want to be told what to do 
and so I think the long term thing is good about the economy. But um, well, you know, I, 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 this is what this is what we get for living in a capitalistic country, where economy is more important than human life. I mean, all the president talks about is let's get back in the pool. You know, let's get the economy going again. We got to get the economy going. Why? Well, because I'm running for president again, and if the economy isn't good, I can't win. Uh, well, that, let's get why the let's Texas governor's a whim. Huh? He said, "Oh, open everything up. What are you doing now there? Mm -hmm. Shutting it back down, now? making it longer than it would have been if what they had just stayed." Yeah. What what a whim. That if uh, the Both virus spiked again that they would uh, start closing some stuff down, and that's what they're uh, doing. Yeah, but, you, but know, it, you had yeah. a lot of 35-year-olds and 20-year-olds going There's to There's nothing. The no, but yeah. Phil, 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 first of all, it's a very scientific way of doing this that they just didn't do. Uh, and, and that is that you do it in different phases, and the phases are based upon data, you know? And if you see that the data is good, the infection rate is down, Right, you agree with me, Brian, on this? Remember they kept saying two weeks of data, 14 days at one stage, and they didn't. They started cutting it off and cutting it off. Yeah, they even yeah. started to roll. I mean, they, it was, oh, they, they jumped in the pool all at once, and they got yeah. what they deserved, unfortunately, and a guy like Charlie's in the middle of the, of, the, of the hot zone, you know? Now, I know what it's like to be in the middle of a hot zone. I mean, we were terrified to even get a package. OK, we would hose it down with uh, disinfectant and then let it sit in our foyer for two days before we would then uh, do anything with it. Uh, we lived in dire fear, especially with me having just had the, the radiation and our age and so on. Uh, you know, we're in that prime group and we worried a great deal about it. Uh, as a result, however, this whole thing is now a memory. But we have to keep our guard up. We have to yep. still wear our masks outdoors, and we have to still do social distancing. And we're being very careful, but they're opening up the economy in measures. Right now, we're in, I think, phase two in New York. Phase two, uh, yeah. Yeah, phase two. Yeah. Phase wait three is still about, they, he says phase three <clears throat> is until like July 5th. Wait till people in New York start using the subway in mass. And you're going to see a spike. Well, they're using it right now, Phil. Not in mass. Well, they're probably not going to be using it in mass for a long time. I think that, you know, it's like Marjorie works at an office in Midtown. Uh, and uh, uh, she's been doing her work from home. And she has other people she works with there. And some of them live in New Jersey. Some of them live upstate. Uh, and they've all made a decision that they're not going back to work till the coast is really clear, until there, there's like a, a, a vaccine, you know, that, that Marjorie might go in once in a great while, but that they're not traveling anywhere because they travel all over the world doing business, and they're not going to be doing that anymore. Uh, and uh, they, they, they've all decided to take it easy. Uh, here comes, well, Mike... Uh, Went into stasis there oh. or something. Chris, Christopher, the important things. Are the strip clubs open yet? <laughs> no, but um, I think one did run an ad saying if you don't take, if you don't wear a mask, you, they don't take off their bras for you. So <laughs> I, I think there is a soft opening in the works. No mask, no bra? What? what? Yeah, no tops. If you don't wear a top, we're not going to wear We're not going to take ours off or something like that. Did you already, wait a minute, Mike, did you already have your hamburgers? Uh, uh, you're, yeah, we're 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 just we're just uh, eating now. So. Oh, I see. Okay, so we're at the we're we're you're eating right now. Yeah, I wasn't sure what this was when I got the got the meeting invite. So I just like. What time is it where you are? Mike? <laughs> uh, Do you know this is from about, Alex, or you think it's from where you work? What time is it? It's about twenty after eight. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, it's about twenty Rob, after eight. Okay. Rob, you wanted to say something? No, no, no. I, didn't, I just I was doing something with my phone. I didn't have my oh, hand up. Oh, okay. All right. Because people don't really have to put their hand up anymore. Because also the other thing about Zoom is is that if I'm talking to you and suddenly you start talking to me, I hear you. It's not like I get, you know. Yeah, that compression. That compression thing. that they do with Skype. So this is more like having a general conversation with people, you know. And well, yes, although, yes. You know, here we can raise our hand virtually. Uh, oh, there. Yeah, right there. We so there you I go. Just, we just came to Massachusetts today. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah. Where I keep. Huh? You know, 
Cape mm -hmm. and to visit uh, my kids and grandkids and all that stuff. Yeah. And we've all been tested if that could. Yeah. And uh, cautious, but we're going to have a great time. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, take it easy, you know, but be safe. And everybody, it, it, you you went home. You went there to see your son, right? My son's here, my daughter's here, and my other son will be here tomorrow. Oh, okay. So, uh, and they've all been tested and everything, and everybody's doing what they got to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, I, I had to take my uh, my my four year old to the doctor to get some shots for a kindergarten, and uh, but I had my Stephanie shirt on because we had to report out for the new building today, mm -hmm. and the doctor started talking to me about ten minutes about some stories and about how thankful they are to have our our product there, and that our stuff is the most reliable. Actually, it's really really a uh, very hurt really cool. Yeah. Give yeah. you a discount. <laughs> anyway, the uh, the other um, thing that happened in the last 24 hours, and I, you know, I'm, and Phil, I got to say this about your boy, okay? He must wake up in the morning and say, how cruel can I be today? Oh, I know what you're going to say. You know, yeah. and today, or last night, he announced that they were appealing to the Supreme Court to kill Obamacare and... <laughs> to consider coronavirus a pre-existing condition. Uh, during he's the, like a Bond uh, villain. He's like a Bond villain. What can I do now? Yeah, right. Uh, you can't get that yet. You will be soon. I think it was Trump was asked, not Trump, but um, uh, Pence was asked uh, about uh, the pre-existing pre conditions. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I guess Pelosi had said that, uh, had made a statement that Trump uh, wanted to kill uh, Obamacare and the pre-existing conditions. And uh, Pence said that uh, he, Trump has said all along that he would protect the uh, pre-existing conditions as a uh, well, So why is, that, why is that in the appeal to the uh, Supreme Court? Yeah, then why is he doing that? That wasn't, that was in the middle of the What? No, it's in there. Accusation. No, it's not an accusation. It's in that's it. part of, of of the Affordable Care Act. If you're in the Affordable Care Act, pre-existing conditions come back, and COVID is a pre-existing condition condition now. Our friend and Mr. Trump said that he was not going to end pre-existing conditions. When did he say that, Phil? He's getting rid of the law. When did he say that, Phil? He said it all along, that, he said it all along. He said it all along and it was. And, 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 and has he? Has he? I can't he, believe the word he's saying. He's a pathological liar. And so is all of your. Friends. No, no, no! Don't give us, don't give no. us that. That's not the argument. The argument is he is, and he's the president. He has no way to protect it. premise. Not a new law. I don't There's accept no your new point. law. What's the law that's going to replace it? There's no new law. Right. No new law. Just I don't think I don't think the Supreme Court will do away with Obamacare. And the reason they won't do away with Obamacare is it's a pre-existing condition. In other words, it's a, it's a law that exists now. And they have a tendency to not want to kill a law that already exists. And, and Trump already knows that. He's, this is just politics. He's feeding his base. Is that right? Yeah. He does that all the time. He doesn't even really care if there's any follow through on it. He'll just say something. And then it's like, oh, is that law or did that happen? And then like a week later, people forget about it. it so he just throws it out there. Now, he does really have it in for anything Obama. We know he would do it if he could. But he knows he can't, and yet he still keeps going. So why? Frank, Frank Luntz said today that the uh, one of the reasons that Trump is dropping in the polls is because of this kind of uh, rhetoric that, uh, you know, he's feeding to his base, and he has to feed to the 2.5% of the voters that are independents. And so he's going to have to change the way he approaches things. But uh, Trump he can't. Is Saying that uh, he's got to be himself, and that's who he is. Well, we don't like who he is. <laughs> I got to be me. <laughs> if I let me put it this way, I used to be in advertising for a short time, and we learned how to package things so they were attractive to people. And Trump has become totally unattractive to the American voter. Well, I don't know about that, but uh, to you he's always been on a track you and a, you're going to go into your into your polling booth along with a couple of other crickets 
and vote for Trump. I, I am going to vote uh, mail-in ballot. Uh, I've been voting mail-in ballot for years, and I'll continue to do it that way. You kind of get mixed up with all those Chinese counterfeit ones, though. We yeah. got <laughs> Let me give you a scenario. Let's say, let's say that uh, you know, there, Trump figures out the states where the elect, he needs the electoral college wins, and let's say he needs a county. He needs to win that for sure. So he places someone in there and says, change the numbers and make me win. If you get caught, it's okay. I'll pardon you. I still got two months. So, and what if he does this? To, he could. There's nothing to stop him from saying, change the votes. And if you don't change them, I fire you. Or, and if you do get caught, I pardon you. He can pull out all the stops. Yep. I mean, so all he has to do is just focus on a few areas to rig. Mm, and he could, he could take it that way. If you really wake up in the morning and think of those things, you I in- think you think the FBI is corrupt. You think there's a deep state. No, no, we know I that don't. there's one person in the at the top no. who is corrupt, I, I and think, that is the president. I think that the FBI is a great institution. No, no, no. no I'm yeah. talking about Phil. <laughs> oh, right. But I think that the leader can just be fired if Trump. We see a pattern here. You know, it, he's a nationalist. It, look at Brazil. Look at Russia. He's following the same playbook. Yeah. It's Look, very clear. It's if interesting. Nothing, nothing it, it, can yeah. stick, and you have ultimate authority. Imagine it, what you could do if you were corrupt. Imagine. It, and it, that's that's happening. And then he'll throw out, oh, I want to get rid of Obamacare, and everybody starts talking about it. And then you miss what's actually going on. It happens every day. Yeah. Joe Biden. Not, Joe, Joe Biden. The master at that. I was thinking today that Joe Biden doesn't have to do very much to win this election. He just has to stay Don't out of the way. Cocky. He's got to no. He's got to stay out of the way. He can't be too in everybody's face and give them any reason to not want him. As soon as he crawls out of his basement, he's going. He's. To I've been out of his basement for weeks, Phil. Quit with uh, that crawl out of the basement routine. Can I say one thing though that could scare me with Joe Biden? Hmm. And I don't want to sound like a sexist. That's Tony, by the way, folks. But one thing that scares me, Alex, is I don't want anybody out there. I'd love to see a woman vice president, but right now, I don't want him to pick a woman to beat Trump. What, to beat Trump? He's got to pick a guy. He's got to pick a guy. It's not going to pick a guy. No, 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 no. I think that's going to hurt him, then. I don't think so. He's got to pick a black woman because... I think that's going to hurt him. It, no, the, the way he needs the women, the, the female. Remember, I don't think he, Alex is right. He doesn't need to do anything but pick a solid guy who's young. Well, I, I, look, look I, I, you know, there's nothing wrong with He could, he, he, he what, show up and you win. He don't really make does. It, whoever he, uh, uh, look, when people are running for president, nobody talks about the vice presidential guy. Oh, you know, in this case, uh, uh, nobody talks about the r- vice president. Vice presidential woman or whatever, that the main the main star of the game is the guy running for president. Nobody votes yeah. for somebody because they say, you know. And I I mentioned this to Marjorie the other day. She likes Stacey Abrams. Okay, now I see. I don't know what the wonderfulness is in Stacey Abrams, but everything she's ever done, she's lost. You know, well, she, uh, she and, and, and really she hasn't held any major office. You know that that was. Uh, and so I said to her, I said. Okay, you like Stacey Abrams. Is she qualified to be president? And she said, well, no. Then I said, she shouldn't be running for vice president. That's why you should have a, a senator in there or a representative of some sort or somebody who was a governor. Governor. Huh? So, I, you know, I think for him to lock it up, he's got the black vote because Trump is ruining it for himself. So you got to realize, I look at it like this. Biden is 78. He picks a female. You don't think there's going to be a guy going into that booth saying if he doesn't finish his four years, he will be 82. We're going to have a female president to handle the world in a crisis that it's in. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't give Trump uh, yeah. a surge. I don't think so. I don't think the uh, people are ready to break the ceiling right all, now. All, all Biden has to do is be very cautious and quiet and let Trump be Trump, and he will take this thing in a walk. Would you okay. you agree? I would take him. I'm not so cocky do. over it. I don't. Neither I don't. am I. He's going to open the door if he picks a female. I'm telling you. 
All he needs is a little. Come on, let's be honest. People are racist and sexist. No, they're not. I mean, not, look, and even Hillary lost. And she had to clean the clean. Tony, all over the country, we've got governors, we've got mayors, we've got we never senators. Had a female VP, though. Who are who? No women. You, you, hey, we ran a woman for president. We never had a black. We never had a black president, and we had. Yeah, but you know what? Obama would kill him. Obama was made to order. He was classy, smart. He would crush it. But what did Obama do? He took an older guy as a VP to lock it up. Mondale Ferrara. By the way, Kevin has joined us, and we have 15 people. Line. We have 15 people, and this thing ain't even breathing hard. Mondale I've still got 17% CPU usage. Does yeah. anybody remember Mondale Ferrara? How did that work out? I remember that. It was a little bit right. Well, but nobody voted against Mondale because they didn't like Ferraro. Right. They didn't Don't like underestimate Trump because if you give this guy an opening, there's racists and sexists out there. They will not flip the switch knowing he's old. Yes, and there are people who will do that. That's right. I agree. And there are people who do that. You're going to give him an opening. Let's just say it the way it is. Trump's not Obama not. would murder Trump. But the but women, Obama, the women are going to come out in groves. And the Biden women like vote Obama. is going to win it for uh, for Let's every. If women are fifty-two percent of the population, and right now Biden has got like sixty percent of the female exactly. vote. He just got to show up. Oh, more than that, he's got ninety percent of it. Charlie, don't you think he just got to show up and win? Let's just knock him out of office. Let's not overthink ourselves. Let's not try to. Yeah. Oh, we gotta break the ceiling because we have to do this. Yeah. The guy is a sitting duck. Finish him. Uh, okay, off. Bree. I'll, I'll tell you. I, I think it's Elizabeth Warren and. Uh, and I'm not a big fan, but I do think she's extremely competent yeah. and she knows what she's doing and she gets in there. And I think you definitely have to pick a vice president who can be more than any other time in my lifetime. You have to pick somebody who's ready to step in. Well, I want to. What I state wanna, is she from again? And she raised the most amount of money. Massachusetts. And the biggest fundraiser. If Massachusetts is a, is, is, a, is, a green, is a blue state, though, isn't it better to try to pick a, a red state? female no, I, I mean politically yeah to get to get the numbers but um i th i think you you need competence and you yeah. need some and a fundraiser Don't if, you see, if, I, if i might add i i think uh, one other factor that we were, we're, we're avoiding uh mm. huge tits <laughs> Kamala, hey. biden boxed himself in Hi, early. Kamala. Kamala's only claim to fame is she was willie brown's girlfriend <laughs> Uh, That's how she got her power. Don't you see the mistake that Biden made? And this is just an example of more mistakes that he's going to make in the future, uh, that he boxed himself in early by saying, I'm going to pick a woman. And, and, and so he, he just he just cut his uh, his he cut his legs off. Out from under him. Well, the only thing that bothered me about that, Phil, right. I will have to agree with you, Phil, to, to this extent, Phil, Biden. Phil, to this extent, I would agree with you. And that is that. Uh, in the case of uh, of saying that, I was bothered by the fact that he had a preconceived notion of who he was going to choose. That he was saying, "I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have a woman as my running mate." Well, wait a minute, that that's sexist, and that is sex discrimination in job hunting. You're missing the point. The point is that that's he a good point. Bad uh, a decision. By by choose by saying that he was going to do that, it boxed him in and limited his choices. No, it doesn't limit his I, choices I because there are a lot of very competent women out there he could choose from. But what yeah, I'm but saying is the fact that he said this is my preconceived notion, this is what I'm going to do. I mean, if I put an ad in the paper and said I need a new salesperson at my, or you, you put in an ad that said you need a new salesperson at your uh, at your rug place, uh, only women need apply. Uh, yeah. You would get the EOE on your ass like nothing going. And the same thing is true here. I mean, this is a job deal. Um, yes, uh, Kevin, Alex, Kevin, did, Kevin, did Kevin, say, Kevin, uh, Kevin, 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 Kevin was waving his hand. Sorry. Yeah. So on that note, I would, uh, you know, putting it, putting it aside, woman, black, don't care. Yeah. I always, you know who I think is, is pretty good or has kind of impressed me just on the side, not even considering is is that uh, mayor of Atlanta, Keisha Bottoms? <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know why. 
By the way, everybody, quit yeah. doing this. Has, has anybody seen her? Quit doing the it, chatting back You don't take forth. no shit. President Bottom. Yes. They've talked about her. They've talked about her, but I don't know. I, I, she and seems I'll, to take no shit. I like the governor of uh, Wisconsin, that lady. She gave Trump. She didn't take no shit from Trump. Her name? If, if, if Biden was to croak over, I, I don't know. She seemed to, to she seemed know. like she would be competent to take over. Yeah. At least from what I've seen, anyway. I don't know. I don't know if anybody else has seen anybody seen her, but anybody has? No, that's the governor of Michigan, the lady who's the governor of Michigan, I think. Uh, no, but all I'm saying is that he shouldn't have. Have I think he was wrong in in saying that? Okay, and in making that a preconceived notion of who he was going to pick. I know I that it's that in, and it's the right thing to do. But you know. An element of surprise is great too. If that's what you're going to do, yeah. don't tell anybody ahead of time. Just do it, and, and everybody and goes, "Wow, he picked the I woman." Mean, he really wants to unite the party. Bernie Sanders. There is well, something to represent. Yeah, it was to be Bernie Sanders. Tony's right. He he I wanted mean, to surprise want to Sanders. Party, Bernie. Or if you really want to throw a wild card? They get Hillary Clinton. She was Secretary of State. Uh, he, I mean, he he definitely surprised Bernie Sanders there because imagine Bernie Sanders is so progressive and. Yet here's Biden saying, I'm committing, I'm going to pick a woman. And, you know, Bernie, he expected Bernie to do that. Bernie didn't do it. That hurt Bernie. Mondale again. I was a disaster. I like former, former Attorney General uh, Susan Rice. Oh, now I think you, I think you're quite right. I, I think that's, no, a, that's she a, really, that's, yeah, that's yeah, a good she choice. She talked about that pandemic playbook. And then I saw her again on a couple things. And she, she says it like it is. And the best thing is Obama. Because then it would just drive Trump crazy. And she has Susan Rice ever been voted? She was the one that said that Benghazi was caused over a comic strip. Come on. <laughs> That's funny. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second, Phil. She didn't say that. What happened was uh, the CIA told her that. And that she simply was, re was saying what the what the CIA said happened. It turned out the CIA was not misleading they were not misled by that it was just it was a bad notion you know but don't blame her for it she was just taking what the cia information was giving her i was just following orders no phil really? phil and and so's mike pence you know That's yeah, oh boy is he he's, he's so I, don't, very I sat Trump's there I, I sat there you know marjorie watches trump and i can tell she's watching trump because she i can i'm in here and i hear her yell out at the top of her voice, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and, That's usually what I say when I yell. And, and today, I found myself during that press conference yelling that at my screen any number of times. In fact, I went on to Twitter to his uh, page, and I just wrote, don't you ever shut up. He went on for like 35 minutes, basically just trying to do this deflection away from what the real story was, that we've got an administration that has, the main job of any administration is to watch out for the people of America, to make sure they're safe. And That's right. they have failed in that, in this, in this pandemic, more than anything they've ever done. And they've created too many fake enemies in the process uh, so that they try to deflect us into worrying about, oh, the Mexicans and the da 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 this thing is the thing that brought us down, and he should have been there, and he should have let his ego leave, and get out the door. He can't get rid of his ego. It's just no. one egotistical little thing after another. You don't think it was the Chinese that didn't that shut down travel in China, but allowed people from Wuhan to go all over the world? You don't. You don't have any blame for these people. I'll blame. Uh, sure, I'll blame any yeah, you country. Can blame them. I'll blame any country that allows this or any virus like this to go rampant, and so therefore. The person who did it in my country the most was Trump. And right. you don't blame the World Health Organization uh, by saying, oh, th this is not a problem. You don't have to wear masks. You don't have to do any of this. Uh, that it's, gonna, it's not going to travel. It doesn't transfer to humans. You know, I mean, there was so much crap that we were handed. And you're willing to blame Trump for everything. I think that you're a sycophant when it comes to... Uh, sycophant? I think you know Phil, the definition, Phil. Phil, 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 I am 80 years old. I sycophant. feel there's a noose around my neck, and every day it gets tightened by Donald Trump. Mm. Well, 
I, I think that you're living in a fantasy and, world. And, and Phil, you as well are in a uh, uh, high-risk category. I, understand. I, I saw a, an advertisement today on TV for schizophrenia drugs. Maybe it ought to be something that gets handed out in uh, the cabinet. This or, isn't. No, it should be handed out at the White House. <laughs> Believe me, that guy. That, well, he's already on enough medicine from what we all hear, you know, so. All the yeah. secretism, he goes to the hospital. Phil, how you can sit there? Why. How you can sit there and defend yeah. this person who has not watched out, watched out for the country that he was, he was Sworn. given the task of protecting. Well, I, I think that he has watched out beautifully for the country, and that you're ignoring yeah. all his. And and and, oh, and, and you don't say that this that he, that he you know he doesn't take any responsibility for this virus. Nothing. And he won't listen to any new information either. He won't listen to science. He won't listen to science. Well, but uh, Phil, you I think Phil I think there are points on both sides. I I do. I am not someone who blames everything on Trump. I, I will not. That's not my starting point. But I would say he something. certainly doesn't help. He certainly doesn't help a lot of things, and he harms a lot of things. Yes. I, I believe he's, to me, he's the public relations chief, commander in chief. He's about public relations. He's, he's all about he's, how he's running. He's and, running a reality show, Bree. Yeah, you know, that. he cares more about ratings. You know what he said the other day? Uh, I got, uh, maybe didn't fill that hall, but I got the highest ratings Fox has ever gotten on a Saturday night. Do you know what kind of ratings Fox gets on a Saturday night? You know what they got then? Um, All the people that didn't see him because they, were, they wanted to watch it on MSNBC, but they weren't carrying it, and neither was CNN. So the default was to Fox. And he's going, oh, and the ratings were... Ratings are something you worry about when you're doing The Apprentice. Okay, you don't worry about it when you're running a goddamn country. Well, you know, everybody you're just watching. 125,000 people are dying on you. Then our system is is pretty bad because you know if if saving the country and doing the great job was getting ratings, then we'd all be in great condition. But what gets ratings, unfortunately, is not what helps the country to be the best. That's a fault within our system to a large extent. Mm -hmm. Trump didn't create that; he just exploits it. Mike, I, I Mike, hold on a second. Mike, I'm going to talk kind of to a couple of people that haven't said anything lately. Mike, how, how do you feel about all of this? <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to go away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No uh, more years. How about you, uh, the Burgers uh, or Trump? Train. Yeah. <laughs> John Larkin, like to, just, how do you just feel? Just trying not to do anything that's going to get me in federal prison. So <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I watched a little bit of that Tulsa. Uh, speech and they would pan around the audience you know people were fucking yawning and checking their phones yeah he's he's old fucking old he, news, he, he 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 it's like you've gone to see a rerun oh totally yeah. yeah he's not saying anything new and part of the problem he's got the other night he did a town hall with sean hannity now he's in a <laughs> he no wait a minute he's in you know in a nice place to be don't it, it, let's not use the chat because it kind of keeps coming up and uh, disorients me, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, but but thank you, uh, Bree, and thank you, Kevin, for participating that way. Uh, anyway, the point that I'm making, is, wh where was I? Oh yeah, so he was on with uh, Sean Hannity, and Hannity said to him, "Well, what do you plan to do for your next administration? In other words, what plans do you have for the future?" He didn't answer that question. Big fucking word salad. Now that is a horrible Big question softball. not to answer because what you're supposed to be doing is you're supposed to be setting the table for the next four years. You're supposed to say, if I'm reelected, here's what's going to happen and here's what I'm going to change. He hasn't put any thought to what he's going to do in the next four years. All no, he cares about a, is getting past November. Can you imagine... He needs to bring back the economy. That's but, what, yeah, what, what will happen let, next season? Can, can you imagine Trump? a... Yeah, Can you imagine a lame duck Trump? What oh, he, oh, off the rails he could oh, do whatever oh, he wants. He's not going to get reelected. Could you imagine how many things? How many think he's going to leave easily? Well, he's definitely not going to leave easily. He's a sore loser. He doesn't accept loss. He's going to look for any excuse. He's going to file. But could suits. you imagine gonna, if he does to, win? Yeah, yeah. If he does win, could you imagine what an unleashed, you know, lame duck? 
president he'll make. Oh. He'll do it. I can hardly funny. wait to see the people that he, he pardons on his last day in office. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a yeah, Maybe oh. the Logan Act on the incoming administration. What? Maybe he should use the Logan Act on the uh, incoming administration like uh, uh, Biden uh, suggested to Obama 16 days before Trump took office. Uh, and that's where, where did you hear that? Well, that's yeah. bullshit. It's public knowledge. Well, that's it wasn't public. Well, they were, no, they were Trump, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on a second. How many here have heard that? that is, I've never heard of one word about that. Yeah, Only you, Phil, because you went to those, those sources you go to to get your misinformation. It happens to be uh, 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 general knowledge. Uh, and what do you mean it's general Google knowledge? That. This is something. Google it and give me a link. This is something. Yeah, give me a link. This is something that uh, that uh, you know was a conversation between Biden perhaps and Obama, and somehow everybody Clint. knows it. Flynn's yes. lawyer says it. Mike Clint. Flynn's lawyer says. Mike say Flynn's Joe. lawyer says it. Oh okay. yes, Flynn's lawyer said it. Well, Notes that they got from Comey and Strzok. He's a on conspiracy theorists too. The notes that they got from Comey and Strzok uh, that uh, that they subpoenaed uh, contain that information uh, verbatim, saying, uh, and it was Strzok, I believe, who took the notes. Uh, he said uh, the, the the vice president said this. Uh, what is the Logan Act? It was uh, it, it was created in 1808, and it had to do with uh, dealing with foreign uh, powers. Uh, when you're not, when you're not you elected, know, and it's basically and, making deals with a foreign country when you're not in even elected, you know. Again, and all of this is States. interesting. That doesn't stop right. COVID nineteen. Strzok said that you're uh, right. You're right. It it isn't COVID nineteen, and it doesn't matter. Right well, now, Biden's nothing not, matters but solving this problem. You know, Biden is not making deals with foreign in, in, uh, countries. That was that was Trump. Begging, yeah. begging leaders of other countries to help get him reelected. When Obama said to uh, uh, to Russia, uh, "Hey, don't worry. When I'm reelected, uh, you know, we'll we'll make things right." Uh, you know, come on. I mean, these guys are so dirty; it's unbelievable. I, I wouldn't be surprised yeah. after a second Trump presidency when yeah. he's reelected that Obama no. brought no. up. A Obama, Obama said that when he was the, the president. Russians about anything. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm not talking about the uh, the Logan Act. I'm talking about the uh, the underhanded stuff that uh, the Biden at, or the uh, Obama administration. Obama was the president when he said that, yeah. though. He oh, can say I, that. Yeah. And he's making deals on behalf of the United States, not on behalf of himself. And, and, and they don't they can't find the 302s. Uh, but what happened was uh, Strzok said uh, hey, who was struck. I forget who struck uh, was him. Strzok uh, was the FBI agent that mm -hmm. uh, uh, said that he was coming up with a uh, an insurance policy to his uh, lover, whatever her name was. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, so this is a guy you don't believe. No, oh, but, but only it, when it suits your scenario, you yeah. believe him. Contemporary, I don't believe he ever said that. Contemporary notes uh, showing contemporaneous, contemporaneous notes showing uh, this conversation uh, that uh, was taken by him, and also struck. Well, said, fi find it for us and send it to me. I didn't see that there was anything wrong with the phone. Yeah, have call. a drink there. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Howard's oh. having a drink. <laughs> yeah. and, and look, Rob's having a drink too. Calm down, Phil. Uh, Brian's having a drink. Everybody's drinking because, well, I think the a bunch of rushes. You know, last Boddicker, I was embarrassed for him. You know, he was giving me the finger and stuff like that. And and the reason I didn't say anything was that I felt sorry for him. And I feel oh. sorry for a lot of you guys. Oh, come on, Phil. We love you. That's the hormones talking, Phil. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, Phil. We love you. Get, get over it. Yeah. Air hugs. We know how, it, how easy it is, how, how easy it would be for us to bring you to tears right now. So let's... My cap on my water is plant-based. You get an illegal haircut today? Because I don't know if they have that. That's hydrochloric. When do we know it? The way... Hey. Do you, guys, do you guys hear there's a, 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 a QAnon follower that's going to be elected to Congress from some off the wall place in Georgia. She's uh, she's running and she's going to she she won the primary and it's a really deep red district. So she's going to be in Congress 
and she's a hardcore QAnon believer. She talks about, she actually believes the shit. And she's going to be in Congress. You know what QAnon is, right? Mm -hmm. You've heard of that shit. Um, under uh, the Washington Post fact checker. Here we go. By Michael Flynn, Barack Obama, Trump's claims of treason. Uh, and it uh, comes Trump's from, claims uh, of treason. That it, That's the headline, Phil. Yeah, that's the headline. This is what Trump is claiming. This is not necessarily what's true. Like he claimed that uh, he claimed that Barack Obama wasn't born in this country. And he claimed COVID-19 would miraculously go away. Right. And he claimed all these things. He claims we're getting a stimulus check, a second one. I, now that one. And I he want. claimed there were that several million people is, at his inauguration. You know, the first day he was in office, he couldn't. He, he had to lie. Had to lie. <laughs> you guys are unbelievable. Unbelievable. You, you wouldn't give this guy credit if he saved your mother's Well, I will life. say something good about Trump, okay? No. I will say where he got, I think, a short shrift. I may be wrong on this, so please, especially Charlie, correct me on this. But they called him racist because he made a joke at that uh, Tus uh, Tulsa um, uh, Bund rally. Uh, uh, you know, um, uh he 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 made a joke, and quite frankly, I laughed, and calling it calling it kung flu. Kung flu. Oh, mm -hmm. you actually thought something was funny? I I, I, I I don't know why everybody got on him for that. Well, because because then you start to think, how many people are dead, and is that funny? Yeah, you're right. Well, I guess I guess uh, it, among us guys, if I do that, it's not that, sensitive. No, yeah, it's not. Right. He's the president. Yeah, that's the difference. Is yes. he gonna go for food on Sundays? What? If my mother was in the box and it's COVID. Uh, I don't. Tell me, where do you go for food on Sundays, Tony? What do you get? Cakes. Thanks. Well, I put that on Friday night, Tuesday. Not Sunday. He's not the president. <laughs> yeah, but you're not the president, Tony. So I know. Doesn't, president. It doesn't matter. You don't go to key food. I'm Probably. not the president either. That's why I could say Kung Flu's kind of seems funny to me. But, you know, uh, there, there are definitely times when Trump uh, says stuff that I like. I mean, he says so many things all the time, but that's the problem. It's you. Know, there's really nothing there. It's it's like it, what we, you, what we it's have like the, an Escher painting. The problem is we have a president we can't take seriously. Yeah. Yeah. That's the problem. You have to be told when he's joking and when he's not. And no, you, know. you guys don't have a sense of humor. And uh, definitely do. And Alex just said he laughed at something. I think I have a good sense of humor. Kevin's got a great sense of humor. Uh, you're, you're, you guys are looking for stuff to, to, to blame on him. No, we don't have to look for no, it, Phil. We don't, we don't have to look for it. It's right, right there. there. Plain as the nose it's, on our faces. It's too obvious right now. Phil, there's, a, there's enough stuff to write a book. There's enough stuff to fill a book with all the things that he has said. If he was giving you mouth to mouth resuscitation, you'd say, well, the air wasn't good enough. You know, he got, he got orange on me. <laughs> what, what 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 is that shirt you're wearing, Phil? Captain what? Oh, uh, Captain America. Actually, Tony sent this. To me. Oh, I think I get it. Yeah, I'm wearing. Yeah, He's American hero. Oh, 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 wait a minute. When you stand up, Bree, we lose your blue screen or your screen in back of you. Yeah, sorry. Oh, oh, by the way, Phil, would I win with this uh, picture? It's a good uh, picture. Thanks a lot. I took that in Barakai. Yeah. No, it's a good picture. I, I want to go back. And, so and did bad. you take that picture, Howard? That's in back of you, or is that just? Yes, that's that's in Kahana. Uh huh. I recently uh, sold a condo there, and took. Where's a Kahana? There. Kahana is is on the west side of Maui. Oh, um, okay. Basically, Honokawai, Napili, Kahana, just past Kanapali, before you get to Kapalua. Yeah. Uh, no. oh, yeah. No. I like the Kapalua. Anyway, <laughs> Kevin, what do you think of it all? You're pretty, you, 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 you just disgusted, right? Kevin? Oh. Uh, you what's that? I was saying, I wanted to get your opinion on all this because you've been a little quiet and I'm trying to include everybody. Except me. Well, no, uh, I have whole, to shut you up. There? I'm sorry, I was kind of distracted a little bit there. I'm sorry. Alex. No, I just want to know what you think about all this. I guess you're just 
discussed it as usual, yeah, right? It's it's just frustrating and listening to the bullshit. I just yeah. you know, and I and I'm sure Brian would agree with me that we need some leadership in this. I, I only you know I'm Marjorie said to me, "Gee, I wish Cuomo were running for president." And I said, "I'm uh, glad he isn't because he's here doing the job for us." You know, you but know, in four years if, he's going to be a real factor. He's going to. If you be. think about it, would you really want to be president right now? <laughs> No. I mean, would you think about that? No, you wouldn't want to. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you, if I were. What what would you say, Kevin? You wouldn't want to be, but it happens, so you're supposed to be able to take it on. And he had the perfect opportunity to turn a lot of people, and he didn't take that opportunity. This was an audition. He became a jackass like he was and made himself a bigger jackass. This was the audition. And he. It was a a perfect opportunity to turn a lot of people, and he didn't do it. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, you know, I mean, I, 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 Christopher, any comments you have about it? Because we're getting towards the end of the show, and I just want to get everybody's feelings about all of this. Mm-hmm. It just seems to me Trump has great appeal to billionaires, and he kind of does their bidding, but he also has great appeal to ex-cops who hate Serpico because he feeds them the rhetoric they enjoy and love and they, they live on, and, and it it's, might be time that he's not he served his purpose and he might be phased out even before the election. Yeah. You know, he's giving markers that he might step back, and if he does, he might get hardened if he before he leaves, if he leaves oh. before the, the elections. But who knows? Oh. A lot of scenarios out there in play. Who's going to step back? Chance for him is to make Pence president before November, and then Pence pardons him. Well, I, him? I, I, Pence couldn't wouldn't be necessarily the worst thing that could happen because uh, Pence uh, uh, obviously gives a good blow job. <laughs> You know. I think he's grooming his daughter to be president. I don't think oh, she's got no. a chance now. I don't think after this whole debacle. I mean, this is the perfect example of what well, we don't. What, the reason a lot of people voted for Trump was they figured eh, it couldn't hurt, and you know we've done politics we as usual, and mm-hmm. and we you know that notion that Mr. Smith goes to Washington, okay, and yeah. the fact is that. It, you need you know, some professionals in there know what they're doing. He doesn't know how to be president. Why? Because he's kept us out of a bunch of wars that oh. Our, oh. Biden would have put us in? Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear the latest about uh, uh, the Russians were uh, spent, uh, putting out a bounty for American uh, soldiers Afghan, in yeah, uh, Afghan soldiers. Afghanistan? They, were, they, they had a bounty. And, and Trump was informed about it back in... Uh, Fucking. There goes your light. <laughs> we sold we, our, uh, we light. <laughs> I got that light on a timer or something. Yeah. But yeah, Trump was informed of about it back in March. He didn't do anything. All what he did, he had a nice conversation with Putin and invited uh, and Putin back into the G8 after he already knew about this story about the. Uh, that, that's down. a good way of maybe stopping the people from trying to hurt our soldiers. Yeah, well, all I know is that we have literally ruined our reputation. In most- oh, every, you know, for, for 200 years, the, every country has hated us, you know, uh, even no, the French. No. The, 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 During well, Obama, well, my life was a lot easier. The yeah, German, yeah. And this, you don't live you overseas. To, you he have does. no idea what it's like out here. Oh God! Well, just because you live in a bunch, a bunch of bigots, I'm you know I can't I can't Phil, help that. Phil, he lives in other places. He knows what the other countries think of us a lot yeah. more than we do. And I know that when you know for years, fifty years, they've been burning our presidents in effigy. They've been burning oh, our flags. Phil, you're full of shit. Our anyway, about a that's, small that's my subject. that's my that's my summation of tonight. Phil's full of shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. I think that you're an ostrich and you've stuck your head in the sand. Uh, yeah. Well, here's my egg. Anyway, uh, Rob, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I've been a little out of sync tonight. I don't know why I get out of sync, and everybody else seems to be in sync. Charlie Wallace, great to see you, Howard. Four nights in a row. Keep doing it. We love seeing you here. You know. Thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, having me. Yeah. And uh, Phil Meyer, thank you. And, uh, who, oh, oh, yes, Brian Neary. I don't know. He All of a sudden, he's frozen. I don't know why. I wanted um, to see his new seed. Christopher, thank you for being with us. Call us again, please. Bree, thank you. Thank you to, uh, 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 what is it tonight? Dobie Budowski. Uh, <laughs> uh, and Phil, and thank you to Rob, and thank you to uh, Kevin and Mike. 
The hamburgers, were they good? Yeah, they were decent. Okay. Anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I will wave back at you. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's our citizen panel for tonight. That's how they roll. Uh, and uh, a good week this week. This Zoom really is working well for us. Anyway, uh, I will be uh, taking a couple of days off. We'll be back again on, uh, well, Monday. It's uh, the exchange uh, at, uh, let's see here, 9 o'clock at night, Eastern. And then uh, on Tuesday, I'll be back, 1030, Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And as usual, stay safe and wear a mask.